All right, welcome back. We're still looking at the geometric probability model. And in this video, we're going to look at a few more problems that we'll want to model correctly and then also calculate correctly using our calculator. So as a reminder, we were looking at the example of a basketball player who has a 65% chance of making a free throw. And we're assuming all the free throws are independent, and we want to know the probability. In this case, it takes him less than five attempts to make his first free throw. Well, notationally, that's the probability that y is, so less than five attempts would mean y is less than five. That means, in essence, what we want is, we want the probability that it takes him one. We're going to add that to, the, oops, not not y, x, y. Um, we're going to want to add that to the probability it takes him 2. And we're going to want to add that to the probability it takes him 3. And we're going to want to add that to the probability it takes him 4. So um, there's the modeling step. And we very well, we could go through and do each of these. And in fact, it's not so bad to write them down individually. And then we could add them up in the calculator. But that's where it kind of gets a little bit uh, just annoying because you have to type in so much in your calculator. So you, we'll see that the, the calculator will be able to do this for us. Um, but just for the modeling step, we can do these individually for good practice. Uh, the probability he makes his first free throw, free throw on the first shot would just be 0.65. On the second would just be 0.35 because he has to miss and then he's got to get it. So, halfway there. On the, uh, for the third one, it would be, well, he missed twice and then gets it. And then, uh, for the last, the last possibility is that he misses it three times and then makes it. So, you know, I guess this isn't so bad to put in the calculator. You could put it all in as one line and you'll be fine. Um, but I just want to show you another way to do this because if this wasn't, if there wasn't five attempts and it was instead, you know, what's the probability it takes them less than 25 attempts, that's when we will want something better. So, um, so the way to, to, to calculate that is to go to your calculator and hit second and then the VARS button as usual and then you're, what you're going to want to do is scroll down to the bottom and get to the button that says Geomet CDF and again as usual this will input uh, what we'll input into this is P, which is the probability of success on individual trial, and then uh, K. But because this is a CDF, C stands for cumulative, that's going to give us the um, the probability of several different outcomes. It's going to give us the probability, so probability. of outcomes less than or equal to k. In other words, it's going to do this addition for us. All right. Um, so what we're going to want to put into our calculator is, so we'll hit, hit enter, Geomet CDF. We want to put 0.65 comma. Now this is where you got to be a little bit careful. It says um, according to the definition, uh, we want the probability of the outcomes that are less than or equal to k. Well, the problem says less than 5, which means that we're going to want to put a 4 here, because to sum up the probabilities less than or equal to 4 would be equivalent to finding the probability takes them strictly less than 5. So make sure you put a 4 in there. And when you do, so just to be clear, this would be geomet. CDF 0.654, and when you do that, you get out an answer that is 0.98, uh, about 0.985, around there. Okay, so that's very useful. There's the modeling step. 
which kind of which often happens in your mind, right? If you if you understand the problem, you can often just go right to the calculator without writing down what I did below. Um, but then there's the calculator, the the computing step, which the calculator takes care of. Let's finish with one more example. What's the probability it takes more than two tries to make his free, first free throw? So more than two tries would mean the probability that y is greater than two. And now we don't really have a button that will directly compute this because we have a button for geometric, uh, for individual outcomes. That was the GeoMet PDF button. And we have ones that would sum probabilities of outcomes less than or equal to a certain uh, a certain number. We don't have any that will sum greater than, um, but what we can do is use the fact that probabilities have to sum to 1. So the probability that y is greater than 2 is 1 minus the probability that y is less than or equal to 2. All right, so that's, a, that's an important strategy in probability we you kind of use as a as a um a benchmark which is that probabilities have to sum up to 1 so we can get this by subtracting the probability that it takes him two or less tries and this we can use our calculator for so this would be 1 minus um so we'll go to our calculator geomet cdf 0.65 comma 2 And we'll make sure to subtract that from 1 to get points 1, 2, 2, 5. Okay, so hopefully you now have the tools to basically answer any question involving a geometric probability model. And as a summary of the calculator buttons on the next page, you can just take a look at uh, what, what distributions are used for what. So again, this is just a little summary of your calculator functions involving the geometric PDF and the geometric CDF.